Howdy gamers, Patrick Hickey Jr., editor-in-chief of ReviewFix.com, bringing you the next edition of Gemmer Jungle. This week out we are going to be playing Rad Racer 2 on the NES. So I'm like just strafing back and forth, I'm driving like Bruce Jenner or whatever they call themselves today. Um, this is a, this is a square racing game. Super, like, come on, Square is known as the RPG King on the NES, the Super Nintendo, the PlayStation, the PlayStation 2. Later on, they merged with Square Enix. Um, but, um, Red Racer <coughs> was, to me, like, one of the best-looking games on the NES. Played great. This, to me, I mean, look at this, like, look what this game is, like, able to do on an NES. Look how fast the screen is moving. So like, I mean, I had never ever, I didn't even know this game existed. I know the first one existed. I love the first one, but I didn't know there was a sequel. So when I, you know, was looking through, you know, the NES catalog for this, I love like, you guys just didn't see that, but like I kind of had to slow down and strafe in between the cars. There's some, there's a level of, uh, strategy and precision needed for this. This isn't like one of your old school like crazy racing games where you're just like, you know, hold it on. I love that like I'm being asked to let go of the speed a little bit. Like I can the control in this game is actually really solid. It feels this feels good. You know? So uh I like the sound effects. I don't like the tree I just hit, but what are you going to do about that? I'm not a racing game guy, away from like the original Ridge Racer and like Mario Kart and stuff. Um, I like some of the Need for Speed, Destruction Derby. Maybe I am a racing guy. There's a lot of racing games that I do like. Um, I'm not I'm not doing it now, though. I think I'm done. I think I, yeah, I got pretty far. I didn't reach the goal. But, uh... Just like one lap in this game. Look at that square. See, 1990 square. Just one little lap in this, and uh, this is definitely a worthy game to your collection, especially if you want a racing game that's a little bit different and plays well. I mean, this, I wouldn't say it's outrun, but it's got half the power, and it's got a great score, good sound effects, controls great. Give it a whirl. 